Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. Now today I'm looking at a new operating system for the Raspberry Pi 4. It's called Apple Pi OS and it's based on Ubuntu Budgie. So guys, it's just like Apple OS. And along the bottom you have your little menu here. It basically expands and contracts just like the Apple OS. So you've got your settings, you've got terminal, you've got Bellina Etcher, you've got Chrome web browser, you've got the Firefox web browser, LibreOffice Calc, Office Writer, and your Rhythm Box software, and we've got access to the Snap Store. And we've also got Cheese, which is a photo app, Screenshot, take a screenshot, applications, and finally we've got files. Okay, so along the top we have a notifications icon, and that gives us the calendar, we've got access to volume, we've got access to the Firefox volume, and we've got access to devices. Next to that we have the power, so basically your lock, suspend, hibernate, restart and shutdown, and we can also log out. Next to that we have Bluetooth access, so Bluetooth settings, and we have a volume, we have volume settings, sound settings, and next to that we have our network settings, and we have notifications again to that, and then we have access to our folders, and we have access to the main system folder, Ubuntu, click on that, brings up the folder, next to that we also have access to our notepad, so that's quite handy, and next to that we have access to open applications, so we can click on our web browser there, now if I close that down and open up a terminal session say, I can demonstrate the window switching function. So minimize that. Now, from here we can switch between the two. So if I want to go on the web browser, click on that. And we can also go on your terminal. Okay guys, let's take a quick look at the software app store. So we click on software, gives us a little bounce just like Apple OS. And we've got our basic store here. So you've got access to audio and video software, comms, news, productivity, add-ons, graphics and photography, games, developer tools, education and science, and utilities. A whole shed load at your fingertips. And we can look here and see what we've already got installed. And basically it comes with everything you need to get started. Now, on the top right hand corner, we've got access to the menu system. And we can view this in a different view. So just like your Apple system here, with big icons. Right, so at the top we start off with accessories. We've got games, we've got graphics, internet, office, full suite of Libra, we've got other, we've got science, and we've got sound and video, including Kodi. And we've also got system tools, a whole load here. And we've got universal access and utilities. Now there's a great little tool that is included and it's called PyKiss. Now this tool allows you to install all sorts of software. So, if we look down here, you can see we can add tweaks, we can add games, all sorts of games. We've got Dune, Descent, Diablo, Diablo 2, and I think there's even Quake, there it is. Now if we go back, we can also see that we can add emulation, we can add all sorts of emulators, Dolphin, DOSBox, Genesis, it can even add PSP, your PlayStation Portable. Pretty cool. Now the other thing you can add here is multimedia. You can add Kodi here, which we've already got OBS. So that's used to record sound and video. Click on back. And if you see here, we've got servers. And there's all sorts of server stuff here. Add block, click on back, and others. So let's just take a quick look at some video on YouTube. So if I go down to the Mozilla browser, and I've got the Batman trailer up. From your secret friend. The hell are you supposed to be? I'm vengeance. So let's take a quick look at the browsing capabilities. Now if I go into the BBC News website, you see it's pretty quick. There you go. Nearly instantaneous. Click on here. All very smooth and quick. No issues, comes up. Go back. Let's see if we can watch live here. Okay, I need to sign in. But as you can see, it came up very quick and it all works. Let's take a quick look at the settings. So if we click on settings, 
and I feel like changing the desktop background. So if we click on backgrounds, and wow, we've got a wide selection of backgrounds here. I like the look of this one over here. Now, of course, we've also got access to Kodi, and it comes up in full screen here. And you've basically got a full set of features. You can add and remove plugins, and basically use it with full features. Now, this software is available to download and try it. Just head on over to Raspberry Pi Projects and More YouTube channel. Now, as you can see, the username and password is Apple Pi OS, and the download link is there. So guys, as always, if you found this video helpful, give us a like, and maybe even a subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.